I think this is good. Or should I leave my hair up or down? I don't know. We'll put my hair down. Sure. My hair's a little messed down. Hello, welcome to my channel. I know there's gonna be a lot of new people. I just wanted to, I feel like I wanna start like doing some like book reading type like reviews because I do read a lot of books and I love books. So why not? This video is gonna be 100% honest. Um, I'm gonna try my best. So when people ask me for my opinion, I always give it to them. And so I'm gonna give it to you. So uh, the Shatter Me series. I liked it. I really did. I don't know how I would scale it on a 1 to 10, but it's not like the best series. Take it from a person who, and I know it's cliche, but that's, I feel like that's the reason why they're like so mainstream. My favorite series ever written were Harry Potter and Twilight, but it's because for me, Stephanie Meyer is my favorite author so far. I just like the way she writes, and I also liked how JK Rowling, but we all know her personality, and we don't like her personality i like the way she wrote harry potter as well i'm a very much a one point of view type of person i don't like different point of views i feel like they just ruin a lot of the story like why like i want to see like the surprise like if someone's trying to cheat if a guy was cheating on the girlfriend right and the girlfriend's like oh where's my boyfriend he hasn't been back don't cut to him and then us finding out he's cheating and then go back to her and being like, oh, where's my boyfriend? And then now we know that the boyfriend is cheating. Then we have to go see it and we're like, oh, this point of it is ruined. It would be so much better if we got to feel her reactions with her while we're reading it. So that's my type of books that I love. And so mostly when I review books, I know that's going to be for, I'm trying to explain for everybody that's how I'm going to be reviewing this book is I it's really about the author really 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 about the author and how the author writes the book because the concept could be great amazing but just like Percy Jackson to me I love the concept of Percy Jackson it was so great but the way that um he wrote the book was just he was lacking in a lot of places and I could go on about that if you want me to do a reel on Percy Jackson I could so Shatter Me series let's just get into it really good series not like like oh my god so good but like it, it was a good series it was a good read it probably is going to be expensive for a lot of people because there's a lot of books to it i think in total there's nine books if you get the combined of the novelas if you want to read the novelas if you don't want to read the novelas you can um there are six books i'm gonna say tahara i don't know if i'm saying her name right um i if i had all my physical books here sorry i just don't want to film it in my house i'm gonna go into the story order and this is what messed me up a lot for me i like to read the story order right so i looked it up i'm like okay people have been saying read the first book then read this the first novella then read you know this book then read the second novella you know and then i did that and i hated it <laughs> i loved the first book and it's funny the first book actually got me confused because i don't like reading about the concept or anything like i don't want to know anything about it i'm gonna just jump in i'm gonna read it I jumped in and at first when I opened the book, I'm like, people, did someone scratch into the book? Like, did someone outline it? And I was like, wait. And then I looked at my other book and I was like, oh. And then I figured out it was, it was supposed to be. The first book was really good. I liked it. I was like, <laughs> like, I was actually getting really into it. I really liked it. Then I read the first, read the first novella. Oh no, and then I read the extra clip at the end with Warner, at the time Warner. And it was good and i was like wow okay like i'm really gonna see this and then i read the first novella and i'm reading and i'm like wow this is like i'm getting so excited so about warner and then i'm like oh this was good and then i go to the second book and i was like oh, this spoiled it for me so what the novella did was the way to her read and wrote the novella is usually with novellas it's kind of like a side story right it's a side story give you some extra context on something but it doesn't affect the main book you know what i'm saying like the main series like the novelas are supposed to be like extra funsies but i shouldn't have um affect the main story plot so when it already spoiled the fact that warner saw this and this happened like warner saw juliet in the middle of the city then i was thinking i was like why is juliet in the middle of the city Julia was caught by Warner and so then now when I'm reading the second book I'm like oh I'm gonna I'm know what's gonna happen she's gonna go with the team and go out into the city they're gonna let her and then she's gonna see Warner 
when that could have all been such a surprise i could have been like like are they even gonna let her go into the team like i know she's like blah blah this and that and then wow she's in the city like what's gonna happen and then like wow warner's there like it could have been such a surprise but i feel like it spoiled it and so the novella got me a little pissed off at the time i was like i feel like you spoiled a lot of things that like warner even started explaining to Juliet about some things that were already said in the novella and I was like I felt like I could have been with her on that but that's fine learning from that instead of reading the second novella after the second book I waited until after the third book so I don't get spoiled I did a good job at that because I that would have spoiled some of the second book too oh no some of the third book too hello this is future Samantha three days later I'm sick with a sore throat tell me what happened anyway i just wanted to explain to you how badly the second novella spoiled the third book i was reading the third book after finishing the second book i was like oh my god everyone died from the ward little boy james died because the whole tunnel exploded i was like oh my god he died the castle's dead this person sat i was like oh my god everyone's dead and i was feeling that with juliet i was like oh my god that's so sad that's so sad and then i found out oh, like there's 12 people living in Adam's house and James is still alive, this and this and this and Castle. So I was like, oh my God, like that's so great. And I was feeling that with Julia and I loved it. And I was like, let me see how badly it spoiled, the second novella spoiled the third book. And so when I read the second novella, the novella only had like 100 pages, 130 pages or something like that. Tell me why it spoiled that, you know, James was alive. Can um, Everybody who was alive in the war, they said who was alive in the war. So it spoiled everything. That, like they were alive, they were staying at Adam's place, yada, 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 that they're safe. When I was reading the third book without reading the second novella, I was like, are they even safe? Where are they at? Like... Are they even alive? Da, da, just like Juliet. So imagine if I was reading the third book after reading the second novella, knowing all of this. Like half of the book, I feel like would have been so boring because I'm like, I already know what's gonna happen. I already know they're alive. I already know this and that. Like blah blah. blah. I already know. I already know. And I already know. Like I was like, wow, that's that one was the worst spoiler. That that one was. I, I don't know if that one was the worst. I was like, wow, that's such a bad spoil. It shouldn't have spoiled any of the actual series. And the two novellas did. And so that, that was bad. That's what I needed to say. Sorry. Goodbye. So take that with you. But with the novellas, did not like how, the way she wrote it. And I was reading the acknowledgements for the third book. And it seemed like she was going to end the series from there. And I could tell because with the first, second, third book, one point of view, Juliet perfect love the first three books read that shit read all of it in five days with those five books like with the novelas and everything really good liked it the novelas didn't really like i've i've read better novelas but she switched up though i feel like maybe she heard some reviews after that when she brought it back out the series because she changed up her novelas I mean, let me just get into the second half of the series the fourth book the fourth book one two and three were great i don't even see anything more just read it you're good it's great fourth book she came back and she came back with different point of views and then i got pissed <laughs> i got so pissed you don't even know how you don't understand i hate when people authors do that like you like hype me up with like one point of view for so long and then you're just halfway through you're just gonna be like mm, warner okay so Warner's point of view. So if you guys like the point of view, it's great. But let me just tell you, this fourth book, hated it. <laughs> My least favorite book. Let me tell you why. It was like, he said, she said, you need to talk to him. You need to talk to her. This person's telling me I need to go talk to him. You need to do this and you need to talk to him. It was so much. He said, she's, and I was like, I don't need to read that in two different point of views. Like, I get the situation and it was the whole entire book where they're arguing you need to say this why aren't you saying this and I get maybe that's what Tahira wanted you to feel so frustrated like just tell me just tell me but we already knew because we're going back in two different point of views we already knew what she needed to hear and we already knew what she needed to say you know what I'm saying so it was like 
so frustrating just reading not so like not i'm not I'm, I'm a dramatic person okay but i was just like man this is just not entertaining and i feel like with different point of views i really get it okay don't get me wrong different point of views i get it i get why authors read it sometimes they like the motivation out of the first point of view and then they want to do second ones because they find things that they can do with it but i get it when they're in different locations like here like what if one girl is at a kingdom and she's trying to see all these things but then the guy went to a different country and then they're he's looking out into something else like i get that and like wow i want to see what he's doing over there but when you're in the same fucking hallway throughout the whole goddamn series like book so i don't need to hear this he said she said when you're just a door down like i it, it's just i don't need it there's a real thing there's a real thing i get uncomfortable i get so uncomfortable okay wow that was kind of good puppeteering so the first fourth book was just madhouse madhouse just wow Ooh, that was just a little doozy and I, and I really was like man because i already hated point of views enough like but she just the way she wrote that point of view too which is like because mm. sometimes like you know you can't help it when i read other series i read the point of views and i'm fine but this one was just like nori nori i'm not gonna do it the novella though she came back though with the novellas different she hit it different maybe she read some reviews on the novellas because she came back different and i liked it she took the what i was saying to y'all earlier about the novellas how she kept on spoiling shit she took that and she fixed it so she did not spoil shit in the novellas i don't remember if she i don't think she did but it was in kenji's point of view but it, the novella though it's god she came back though and she came back with fixing that but making another problem which was she <laughs> retold the book if that makes any sense in a summary you read the fifth book imagine you read the conversation with kenji and juliet and juliet's point of view you read the novella and it's just the same conversation but in kenji's point of view so it's like do i really need to read the same conversation just in kenji's point of view like i can see his like different reactions sure but like that was something that was bothering me with kenji's but what i would say though is that she kind of fixed that in the second and last novella she really fixed that when she was talking about nasera nazira nazira that's what i was talking about i was like okay like i get it like that's obviously something we can't see in the main book well no because then they started adding more point of views with the kenji I don't i'm trying to remember because i have bad memory and i just read this like a month ago yeah the fourth fifth and sixth book they were they were okay they were good like they were good the destroy me or not the believe me novella i liked it but then like they talked about the whole wedding whole wedding talked about hiding the wedding everything what throughout the whole novella and then once we finally get to the wedding you give me like three pages and we don't even get a we don't even get to hear the like i do it's like we don't get to hear nothing like you're just they just met each other up at the altar and that was it like, the, like you talked about it the whole time just like oh i don't know what's happening i don't know what's happening it's such a big surprise for us to anticipate and then you you just stop it and i'm like okay if that's how you want to write it that's how you want to write it but i was like okay i guess that's just how it's gonna stop but i like how the novella kind of picked it up after the last book you know it was just like an extra epilogue you know the concept and okay the concept i could talk about the concept now because honestly for me writing style really makes up my results but the concept was really good i mean there's nothing wrong about anything in the storyline i don't think like it was it was a good read it was a good story god damn okay now we're getting it okay let me talk about this now when she was first with adam i didn't feel it and i feel like that was so like <laughs> i'm petting the future i couldn't i just didn't feel it i was like mm, this is not this is not my type of love like i was like this is not the type of love i like to read like this is just mm. when he was getting so fucking pissed at her y'all know what i'm talking about when she was getting when he was getting so fucking pissed at her and yelling all this stupid shit i was so pissed off i was like you're literally a child you're a child you're a child like wow like, i was so mad i was like julia you swear to god if you don't slap him i will i will jump in that fucking book and slap him the way and the way people weren't really like 
I mean, Kenji was trying to stop it, like, stop him from being like, hey, Adam, shut the fuck up, right? Which I love Kenji for. But everybody's just gonna stand around and listen, like, let him talk shit like that. I was like, what the fuck? I don't care whatever background you fucking have. It could be shit, but you, that doesn't mean you have to be shit. You don't have to be shit to other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, act right. Act fucking right. And Adam pissed me. I was like, oh, no, no. You just want, like, a dasa out here. Let me, like, let me do this for you. And let me do that for you. Love you. Boo. Like, no, no, no. She, no. No, that's not her. And that's, like, you can't change her. That's that on that. Warner, Aaron. Oh, God, I love the way that she wrote, like, his feelings and such. Like, oh, he's so, oh, I love it. It's so good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with him at all. Like, I, I just, well, obviously, there's, everybody has faults. But, like, I, like, there's nothing I was annoyed about him for. Just, like, well, obviously, that was his problem, though. And that's why he was annoyed by, too, that like, he wasn't talking. He wasn't explaining his emotions. And I couldn't, like, I totally get that. So, like, nothing about that. Juliet. Juliet was good. Juliet was good. <laughs> See, this is like <laughs> I get so opinion with the author, but then when it comes to the book, I'm like, yeah. I mean, it's a good read. It's a good concept. It's kind of like watching a movie. So I'm like, yeah, it's good. It's good. Kenji, God, Kenji, so stunning. Such a stunning. Oh, I love the brother and sister relationship so much. It's so good. I loved it so much. Oh, god i loved it and especially loved it in his point of view because i was like when i was reading through julia's i was like i don't think he really feels like that but then when i go through his point of view i was like oh i feel it oh i feel it sisterly brotherly relationship and i loved it with every piece of my heart loved it and i love warner and kenji's little quarrels and how he asked her him to be the best man oh well he didn't ask but we all know nazira it's so fucking cool she's so fucking cool we love nazira Poor Juliet. Though. I keep on saying Juliet when Ella, but she wanted to go by Juliet at the end. So, both, whatever. Just letting you know, every time I kept on seeing Ella on the chapters, I would be like under my umbrella. <laughs> it was a bad habit. I I, I got. Oh my god. Oh the fucking dad though. The dad though, and Juliet could tell. Like I don't know if Juliet was saying. No no no. Um, Castle was saying that like he can see like the good in everybody, and that it felt so sad when he was like, oh I wanted to be a baker. And then we found out about his mom and what the mom did to him. Mm. But like that doesn't that doesn't explain anything. That does not give him the okay to be however he fucking was, like I said earlier. But that just made me open my eyes like wow. And then like especially seeing from Julia's point of view, like how awkward he is with her. Like you can kind of see his human side a little bit when he was like, please fix this. Like he's attracted to me. Like that was so fucking funny. I was like, wow. Like it's like you can see him as a human and not as like. And I feel like a lot of people forgot about that, but Castle didn't. And he was like, he's still at the end of the day a human with emotions and like probably something happened. You can give him a second chance, but still that's just, that fucking weird ass bitch. Uh uh. Don't give nobody. No no no. Don't give that guy. To the parents of Juliet though, fucking, I literally will stab them in the throat. <laughs> stab them in their throat. The mom, especially. No, the mom. Imagine having a clipboard and just being like, two smaller boobs. Mm, your ways. Like I don't. I don't like that. That was horrible. That was. That was sad. But I know she was looking for like um how biologically like she is like superior and she wants her to be the best of the best and like to contain all that whatever <sighs> the sister elizabeth that was sad and i was kind of hoping like they would figure out something but at first okay low key though low key low key i don't know if anybody ever like was feeling this way but when she was inside julia's body at first i was like you're pissing me off by the fact that like she was trying to feel all these emotions with warner i was like <laughs> sorry like, my jealous, I came in, I was like, hold on. Like, I get it, though. I know, and I know, and I know, and I know, I know. But that doesn't mean I couldn't feel, like, bitch back the fuck up. But I get it. I was just like, fine. No, that's not. I don't know what to think about that. I was just, for me, I'm just a very jealous person. So, and jealousy is ugly as shit. I know that. I know it's a horrible fact. I'm trying to get over it. Anyway, so when I was reading, I was like, that's my man. <laughs> Like, don't try to kiss him while I'm in the back. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the back of her mind is what I'm trying to say. Like, don't try to kiss him. 
when I can clearly see what's ha- fucking happening. So yeah, my order would be for read the first book, read the second book, read the first novella, read the third book, read the second novella. Then you read the fourth book, you read the um, third novella, then you read the f- fifth book, read the fourth novella, then you read the sixth book, then you read the s- fifth novella i don't know if that's the very last one believe me that's the order i would go with if you want to see more of my reviews i don't know if this one's going to be good or not if you want to see more i'm sweating i have to finish this up let me know i will do it i'm going to read an i'm going to read a standalone book next and i'll do a review on that one let me know any series recommendations or standalone recommendations i would really appreciate it and yeah i hope you guys are having a lovely day like this video if you want to subscribe if you want to and I might be doing some short little clips of books in my TikTok. So I'll link that down below as well. And if you want to write down if you want me to do any type of like different type of videos. Um, I like to do some art and crafts. Um, anything like makeup, clothes, whatever. Let me know. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'll see you next time. I'm still awkward.